to dash out. Today, I want to be focusing in on hygiene. Yeah, let's keep ourselves clean with some good old hygiene. Cue my theme song. Grabbing my body, making it clean. Look at me, I'm practicing Hope y'all like that. Hygiene. I really do. Ah, so what we have here, this is a little life hack thing I saw somewhere, I don't even know when. I have some extra mile R bags from my fire tender project. We're gonna take these Mylar bags, I'm gonna take these round cotton pads, and I'm going to see how many I can fit in here easily. And once we get a number on that, we'll, uh, blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. Once we get a number on that, we'll go on to the next step. So expect to cut around right here. All right, so I got seven in there. And you may be asking yourself, why do you do cuts? Why don't you do time lapses so we can see what you're doing? Because I don't know how, okay, people? Sorry. <laughs> so we have seven pads in there at this time. So uh, it's not too packed in. We might be able to get one more in there, but like I said, I wanna keep this pack as flat as possible. I don't wanna stretch it out. I don't wanna risk it popping. I got everything I'm doing here at, uh, at Dollar General for Hey, I, th I think maybe maybe three bucks. I think these were a dollar fifty, and I think this was like maybe a dollar fifty-two dollars. I got coconut water body wash because it is the least scented body wash I could find. I was looking for the the Hunter uh, body wash. I went to uh, that that big blue store that we all know and love so much, and apparently they have already put it all up. So I may try this later on. Now I want to make this and see how it works. If it works well, I wanna make a few of these because not only can you use these camping or put into a bug out bag for hygiene or anything like that, I was thinking me and my wife would go to the beach a lot. So I might as well, I could take some of these. And so as you're, you know, lined up at the community shower, which we all know, love and enjoy, you can pull out one of these and actually have a little body soap. So we're gonna put a healthy dollop there, right in the center of each one. We may have to come back and wipe some of this off, but you want enough for it to saturate itself into. And like I said, I'm experimenting with this and maybe I make a big old gigantic mess. Even if I make a big old gigantic mess, I'm still gonna post this video online so we can all see what not to do. But we have it sitting here. It is gonna be soaking slowly, soaking into the cloth. And we're just gonna let it sit here for, I, I have no idea how long. It might be tomorrow before I come back and finish this, but I'm just gonna leave it sitting here um, and just see what happens. So I'm not gonna touch this. I don't really have a way of proving to you I'm not gonna touch it. I might have to set it off or set it back, but I'm not gonna do anything to manipulate this. I'm just gonna see exactly how long it sits here. It, um, let's see if this is working. It is 10.46 a.m. So we'll see as, uh, we'll see how long it takes to sit here before it dries out. So what the idea is, it's gonna sit here, what liquid is in here is going to evaporate because the ingredients in this is, uh, the first ingredient in this is water. So we're gonna get the water to evaporate out of it. And hopefully as the water evaporates out of it, we'll, um, it will, uh, the rest will, will form into the pad. So we'll see what happens when we come back to you. So it's 9 a.m. the next day. So we're looking at just under 23 hours, somewhere in that range. Um, the only thing I've done to the pads that might be a little different or altered in any way because we don't run the heat too much in our house because it don't get, it doesn't get cold and sustain cold. We do, it is kind of a cold room where, where this is. Um, I put a space heater on overnight and that helped them dry out. So I imagine if I did this in the summertime, my dog's down here playing with me. Hey Daisy, you wanna say hey to everybody? Nope, she's scared. But um, <laughs> but uh, so it did have a space heater on them for a little bit. Now this one right here is the moistest, I will say, um, but they all saturated in pretty good uh, 
as you can see they're just moist enough to cause a little bit of stick to it so um i think if i did this in the middle of the summer set it outside for a couple hours or even if the house was was probably 10 degrees warmer um i think it would do a lot better so i will probably do this again but wait till it gets warm however i think it is dry enough for us to really tell will these rehydrate if you go to wash with them so uh and the reason i did this instead of instead of getting a small container and filling it up with body wash and packing it away is because this becomes its own washcloth and everything all in one so you don't have and if the container breaks and spills then you have uh, body wash all over the place and you don't want that either so I made seven for the pack, but I'm gonna take the smallest one and we're gonna test it out. So we'll have six. And if it reanimates, so to say, rehydrates and it foams up pretty well, I'll probably make a few of these packs. So um, let's go. So here we got a little water. Um, let's actually just try to moisten our hands a little bit instead of running it directly under. Right, so let's get the water going here and we have we have leather take this uh pad now get our hands all the way around it so let's try to might want to try to use this pad as flat as possible instead of letting it roll up but wow yeah yeah the more we work it the more foam we get. So yeah. Yep. So that is going to work guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Uh, there you have it. Got me a quick. Easy to pack. Easy to store. Spill proof. Uh, uh, soap system. I am extremely happy. And extremely thrilled with this. Look at that. Oh yeah. And there's still plenty of foam in there. So yeah, you'll be able to, to hit all the high points and low points and all that good stuff. And it is cotton. Um, so I would say it would be 100% uh, biodegradable. It's supposed to be 100% cotton. Um, and if you do, uh, if you're letting the fire burn out, maybe you can even just burn the stuff if you want to carry it with you or not. But um, Or bury it. So an animal won't choke on it. Because that would be the biggest thing for me was an animal come by and try to eat it and choke on it. But, uh, yeah. Let's see how long this thing. Uh, so we got a good stream of running water here. There's, there's still foam coming out of it. So, yeah. Hey, I say one of them, if you use it right, should get your whole body. But, yeah. So, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed that. I want to get my hands rinsed off, cleaned off now. And for me to you, I hope y'all have a great day. Dash out.